What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinter Lens content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. I thought you know it's a it's a really rough period right now. There's not much going on outside of the promo card. So why not make a little bit of a bullish video for you guys? <laughs> just just so Papa Bear can be on the other side of the aisle for once. Um, so let me just preface this whole thing with it. This is not a price prediction. This is just a market cap analysis, and we're going to make some assumptions, but I'm not saying that all of those are going to be predictions or that they will actually happen, just giving a rough timeline for what I think could potentially happen, and then look at the numbers based off of that. So we want to talk about SPS, specifically where SPS is right now, two and a half cents. And uh, what we can see here is we have, uh, we'll just round down to kind of like 1 billion essentially total SPS that is in circulation. That is uh, obviously minus all of the stuff that has been burned already. And we are currently, again, it's, it's a rough amount, but we're currently getting about 1 million SPS per day. Now, from my understanding, uh, from a faucet perspective, we have SPS coming out. I don't think there's anything else we should expect that will be distributing SPS over the, the future. Although there's a couple, there's some SPS being set aside per month for future LPs. So that could get added in. But keep in mind, everything is also decreasing by 1% per month. So on the whole, and again, this is just, we're just going to look at this very crudely with just rough numbers here. We can expect roughly 1 million SPS per day and we'll say over the next couple of years. And I actually want to be very specific here because I, I'm trying to take a much longer term view. While I think that this summer could be bullish and there could be some, some momentum that's happened here, I really don't think things take off until usually anywhere from six to 18 months after the halving, usually 12 to 18 months after the Bitcoin halving is when things pop, right? Uh, and so if we think about the fact that we're about a year away from the Bitcoin halving, I'm going to say just two years. Two years from today, so two years from like, we'll just say April or May of 2025 is when I think we could be in a position where we start to see maybe new all-time highs, but more importantly, just a bull market back in effect due and driven by, due to and driven by Bitcoin. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bust out the calculator here. We got 1 million, oh, you know, let's, do, let's start over, 1 million SPS per day, and let's go ahead times 30 uh, days per month, and then times we'll do 24 months for two years. So that gets us to roughly 720 million SPS uh, in addition to the 1.034. Now, here's where we're going to make some assumptions, right? Just again, to make the numbers nice, easy around, we know land is coming. We know that Rift Watchers for DEC may potentially pass. We know there's no more guild buildings coming. We know that Tower Defense may present some other opportunities to burn DEC and therefore SPS. Now, let's assume, and I don't even know how, uh, you know, I don't even know how to assess whether it's good or bad, but we know that more SPS is going to get burnt because more DEC is going to get burnt at some point. So if we're looking at this plus one point, uh, was one zero three four eight six zero six five two. I, I kind of want to just for easy numbers say we burn another 250 million. Now that's a lot considering we've only burned so far, we've only burned uh, was it 62 million here and another 3 million there. So we've only burned 65 million. So I'm thinking that we're going to burn 4x what we've burned so far. But keep in mind that we've already reduced a lot of the DEC that's in circulation. We've gotten DEC much closer to its peg than it was six months ago. And, uh, you know, ultimately there's a lot of DEC sinks coming around the corner. And keep in mind, this is a two-year uh, outlook. So I would assume that we're probably going to see many more DEC sinks or DEC use cases that will come in and drive more SPS burning over time. Now, where the price of SPS goes and how much each SPS token burns to become DEC, obviously, that's, that's all kind of up in the air. But if we take, you know, we'll just say $250 million out, we're looking at $1.5 billion in roughly two years from now. Hopefully, hopefully it's significantly less. But the reason that I want to focus on that 1.5 billion is because then it gives us an anchor into what we can expect from, uh, I guess, from an overall standpoint, if we're going to compare it to some of the other top projects in the space and where those projects valuations are currently, as well as where they were during the height of the bull run. So let's go ahead back here. We're, we're going to say 1.5 billion. Now, this is where this is where we're going to get to the magic part, right? So if we want to say SPS was at a dollar, for example, right, to go from two and a half cents to a dollar, that's a 40x right there, we would need to have 
a um, we would need to have a market cap of 1.5 billion tokens, right? Pretty easy. 1.5 billion, uh, 1.5 billion dollars. So 1.5 billion tokens at a dollar each is 1.5 billion dollars of a market cap. Now, if we want to get crazy with it and look at, you know, let's say X, SPS were to be one of those 100x tokens, because, and, and sorry, the reason that I'm doing this is because SPS is nearing its low, and so, uh, or its all-time low. I'm not saying that we can't set a new one. I'm not saying it can't go much lower. I'm just saying we're getting close to the all-time low. So if we just think about 2.5 cents roughly being around where its low for the cycle is, uh, what would that essentially mean? Well, all of a sudden, 2.5x would mean that we would need to have... Uh, a $2.50 valuation. So you look at 2.5, so $2.50, whoops. So we'll just say 1.5 billion times 2.5, and boom, all of a sudden, we would need then to have a market cap, or we would have, I'm sorry, a market cap of roughly $3.75 billion. So that seems like a lot, and it is, considering where we're at right now. I just talked about the token 100xing from here. So what then does this look like overall compared to some of the top projects in the space currently? Well, you can see here from a market cap perspective, ApeCoin at this point in time, where I'm recording this at the end of April, 2023, ApeCoin is at the top, right? 1.5 billion in terms of uh, over current market cap. Sandbox is over a billion. Decentraland is over a billion. Then we start get to get to the smaller ones. So you see Axie Infinity currently sitting just under a billion dollars. Uh, we can take a look at something like Gala, which is 275 million. So all of a sudden this 3.75 is starting to feel very big. Uh, and then Alluvium, here's another one, one 140 million. But but let's let's go ahead and just see where things were at uh, during the 2021 bull run. So I want to go and check Axie Infinity first. And what we can do here is we'll click all and we'll take a look at the market cap. And you can see that the market cap for Axie Infinity topped out at almost $10 billion. So I want to point that out because Axie Infinity was one of the top games, maybe still is, uh, you know, one of the more popular games or at least one of the more well-known games in the space. I mean, it's clearly, you know, people are still clearly playing it uh, and they're still clearly developing it. But this thing topped out at $10 billion when the game was super crude, there was not as much development and just P to E, play to earn gaming as a concept was brand new, right? If we take a look at some of the other projects here, for example, Gala, I don't know that Gala had many games set up at the time, right? Uh, back in 2023, but check this out. Where was their market cap? They were sitting at four billion, I'm sorry, almost 5 billion in, in total market cap. So, you know, if, if we're going to compare ourselves to the Axie Infinities, the Galas, if Splinterlands as a platform, not as a game, but as a platform can get to that level and, and with SPS kind of representing the value of governance on that platform, I look at this and I say 3.75 billion is not that high. Just I'm just saying 3.75 billion compared to the others. Again, we would need to be in a massive bull run. We would need to be in a macro bull run. Uh, and obviously, I, I do think that Bitcoin is going to trigger or drive a lot of that. Uh, if we look at something like Alluvium, for example, now we can take Alluvium, and I'm not sure what, I don't know the, the full tokenomics on Alluvium, but you know, something like this, there was no game. It was just a concept. And this thing hit $1.2 billion. Again, it's not 3.75, but this is this was it was just a concept it was just an idea so you know we're looking at a lot of games that i would say aren't necessarily uh, the peers right they're not they're not one to one peers or apples to apples comparison but i'm just looking at a lot of the other games that we've talked about or are at least considered or feel as though they are in the same realm of, of Splinterlands. So uh, let's see if there's anything else here we want to take a look at. We can look at Gods Unchained. I actually don't know. I didn't uh, look at Gods Unchained ahead of time, but if we look at the market cap, uh, you can see something like this was only eh, 200 million at the most, 180 million. So this would assume, this would assume that, of course, Splinterlands does actually succeed in becoming one of the top games, or at least one of the, the highly recognized games. I would say that in the bull run of 2021, there was a lot of chatter, there was a lot of focus on Splinterlands, uh, even if it didn't get much love because it was on the high blockchain. But a lot of people were talking about it just from a gaming perspective. Here's Star Atlas, another one that was at $500 million uh, market cap. And I don't know what's going on with this. I think it might have gotten hit by the, the FTX... Uh, FTX uh, scandal, but here's Splinterlands. I mean, currently sitting at about 24 million. Uh, so you know, we're, we're talking about we're talking about a major, 
major push. Uh, so overall, that's kind of where I'm seeing things. Again, this is just this is not this is not a prediction. This is just uh, <laughs> this is just a market cap analysis. If we go to ApeCoin, I mean, obviously this is one of the biggest projects out there. But actually, its market cap didn't even get as high as where Axie Infinity's was. But you can see this was 6.74. Uh, in April of last year, when people thought that we may not be done with the bull run quite yet, but obviously we were. Um, and then let's see where Sandbox was at. I'm just just out of curiosity since we're since we're taking a look. Sandbox was in the seven billion dollar range. So when we're talking about the fact that if we can get to a three point seven five billion dollar market cap valuation with tokens down from you know one point seven five billion to one point to around 1.5 billion so we can burn another 250 million tokens again this is two years away but i just wanted to present the numbers to you to show you that in my opinion right in my in my opinion it is possible it is actually very possible but Things have to align. So again, I'm, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to go and ape into SPS and that SPS is going to 100x. I'm just saying when you look at it from a market cap analysis, when we know the distribution schedule of SPS over the next 24 months, and then when we account for you know even just a portion of that being burned, and I would say that 250 million SPS over the next two years, 24 months, I actually think that that you know that's that's. I actually think it's not that much. I think we probably end up burning a lot. And what I would love, love, love to see is maybe we get closer down to like the 1 billion token mark by this time, 2025. But again, just throwing these numbers out there, I want to share them with you. A little bullishness, a little hopium maybe for your uh, for your weekend or your week ahead uh, as we head into the month of May. But um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.